The keys I'm using are in the bottom right corner of the viewport. We'll be using a cylinder with 16 vertices and a triangle cap fill as our base. In edit mode, extrude the top faces and scale them along the X and Y axis. Select the bottom faces and scale them along the X and Y axes. Add a horizontal edge loop in the center with a bevel. Scale these new faces along the X and Y axis until you have something resembling a barrel shape. Extrude some of the faces out along their normals. These will be the root system. Make changes to the extruded faces by scaling and moving the vertices. Add a subdivision surface modifier with a level of 2. And apply the modifier. Add a decimate modifier and lower the ratio. and apply the modifier. In edit mode, use the knife tool to add some detail to the top face. Add a small bevel and extrude the faces inward toward the center of the stump. Select the horizontal edges around the very top edge of the stump. Add a small bevel and extrude them out along their normals. I'll be using a palette from Infenzia. The link is in the description. For the top part of the stump, use a light brown color.
For the inset faces on the top of the stump, use a slightly darker brown. For the remainder of the stump, use a darker brown to distinguish it from the top section. To export this into a game engine, change it to a real world scale. For me, I'll make mine about 10 feet in diameter and 3 feet high. Apply all the transforms in object mode. Make sure the stump is sitting in the center of the world, on top of the 3D cursor. Lastly, set the origin to the 3D cursor.